Good morning, good morning, good morning again. Another glorious and beautiful day. Mr. Sophisticated Owl and I are enjoying a relaxing morning with the Lord, studying the Word and just thinking about Him. And speaking of thinking, pardon me, I'm thinking about Jeremiah 33. I've been there before and I go there again. Where he says in verse 1, Moreover, the word of Yahweh came to Jeremiah the second time, while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus says Yahweh, the maker of the earth, Yahweh, who formed it to establish it. Yahweh is his name. What does he say? Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. You ever notice? He doesn't say, Call to me specifically this. He just says, call to me. You know, sometimes when you're praying and you're calling out, all you know is that you have a yearning desire for something better from God, for what God has for you. You don't even know specifically what to call for. Now, it's good if you know what to call for, to cry out. Say, Lord, I, like, just now I was reading the scripture, and I said, that in my mind, I'm thinking, this doesn't make sense. So I said, Lord, I call to you for understanding about this passage, and you will show me great and mighty things that I do not know. know. Or I should say, uh, I did not know, because once I know them, I know them, right? So call to me, he says, and I will answer you. Your call just might be, oh God, oh God. And you got this, you have confidence in this scripture. Jeremiah 33, 3. You have confidence. You will show me great and mighty things that I do not know. Whatever they are, oh God, I'm calling to you. And then as I know a little bit, oh God, I call to you about this. Oh God, I call to you about that. I call to you so that you can show me great and mighty things. And one of the things that I, I, I kind of feel like is a call from David in Psalm 63. Let's see if I can get through this psalm here. Which his call was, O oh God, you are my God. Or, O oh Elohim, you are my El. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you in a dry and thirsty land with no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips will praise you. Thus will I bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul will be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. That's like a good meal, like filet mignon and creme brulee. Marrow and fatness. And my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, even when it's bedtime, I'm remembering the Lord and meditate on you in the night watches. Because you have been my help, therefore in the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul clings hard to you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my soul to destroy it will go to the lower parts of the earth. They will fall by the sword. They will be a portion for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him will glory. Because the mouth of liars will be stopped. O oh God, you are my God. I will seek you. I will call to you. And you will answer me and provide me with wonderful things. And show me great and mighty things that I have not yet known. Amen. Be blessed.